Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to some more Tiny Rogues action. Hope you're doing well today folks. I have a new run on the docket today for you. And I feel like I haven't used a magic based character in a grip. So today we are going to be doing a run with the Esper. Now the Esper is cool, it's special, it's unique, and it has a pretty sad backstory actually. So it's a child that was abducted for its psychic talents, which is kind of crazy. It's like some X-Men stuff going on here. But what makes the Esper really cool is the Psychokinesis trait. Meaning sometimes trait selections will contain psychic ability traits. Really excited to explore this character. Six intelligence, very weak hit points, so we gotta be careful here. Starts with a pretty uh, blank slate here too with the patient gown and the teddy. But we're gonna explore the Esper here today. We're gonna rock the Mana Potion. We have Cinder 16, of course. Campfire looks like so. And we are ready to rock and roll. And while we're rocking and rolling here, folks, if you are enjoying the content on the channel, please consider becoming a subscriber. Join this community. You know, help me build this up. Um, I would really appreciate it. And, you know, really, at the end of the day, I just thank you for viewing. So let's see what we have here. Let's see what we have. So patient count, 20% increased non-weapon damage, so that's going to be useful given that we are disarmed. Then we have the Teddy, summons Teddy Bear Companions, 25% increased non-weapon damage. Okay, so we're kind of all in on the non-weapons here, I guess, so far. Pretty cool, looks like the Five Nights at Freddy's Bear in a certain way. Go get him, Teddy, just the, the Teddy Gargantuan here, just tearing through everything. I'm going to go with the Bombs. Why am I going with the bombs? Because secret service is enabled. I want to make sure we have the bombs to kind of take out the uh, secret floors when we find them. Does us no good if we can't, you know, blow them up, right? Event room, yes. Okay, so plus two strength. We'll definitely take that. And I don't think there's really anything else we can do here given we don't have a weapon. Let's go with the intelligence boost, you bet. And we have to fight the Centurion with our bare hands here. He's shooting some missiles at us. But he goes down. A wooden chest that's a mimic. I mean, this is really dangerous. Maybe our bear can help us out, but you have to take this. Really, really dangerous here. But it also might be the key to uh, maybe some early game stuff here. All right, we get a power shard. That's useful. And a nice little array of potions here. Um, I think we can pick all these up. And I'll, I'll most likely end up using them, but quick poison sickles. So we can pick these up. And I wonder what our attack damage is. With these versus with no weapon at all. Okay, so, let's use these potions. Alright, looking good. Guaranteed rare item. You bet we're all over this. And we have our friend, the Spider Queen, here. So let's see how the spider likes to be poisoned. Doesn't like it very much at all. Poison's actually pretty darn strong in this game, I must admit. As evidenced by the spider melting into the earth. So first boss is down. Here we go. Obviously survivability is a big factor here. So hopefully we get something that can kind of bolster that just a little bit. Sophisticated headgear. Captain boots. Elven cloak. Mercenary armor. I mean mercenary armor isn't terrible. See, So what does this do? Evade now refreshes after completing one combat encounter. I mean, that's also not terrible. I mean, I don't know how long we can sustain non-weapons, right? But for this to really do us any good at all, we need to get all three of these items on. So I almost think we should go with the Merc armor. I mean, it's the gold we gained this floor. Otherwise, we do have the Captain Boots here. Could also re-roll this. I'll go with the Elven Cloak. Why not? And we have it here, folks. The Forgotten Mines. That's right. 
And you know what we have to do here? We just kind of have to dance it out. Just a little bit, you know, just move it and groove it. All right, enough of that nonsense. Let's go for the pair, of course. And let's poison our enemies into submission here. Go get them, my giant teddy bear companion. And X marks the spot in the top right corner there. We're going to check that out, but let's get our first level up. Okay, so we do have some psychic abilities here. This is very cool. This is what I kind of want to check out. Mental empowerment. Well, you have exactly one companion that... That companion deals 300% more damage. Grants 100% increased stats to you. That's incredible, actually. During combat, periodically trigger three psionic blasts at random. Explosion damage, okay. Mind control. During combat, periodically confuse all enemies in the room for eight seconds. Let's do mental empowerment. That benefits us immediately. And what do we have here? The trash golden scheme. Very nice. So actually, what the teddy bear does now is 50% increased non-weapon damage. I mean, we kind of have to... We kind of have to go with this. But let's see. Wisp wand. Not a fan. Flamberge. Monoceptor. The Monoceptor attacks really fast, so let's go with that. Very underwhelming. I'll just pull it off for now. I mean, we fist fight this. We're just completely set up to fist fight this, to be honest. And our teddy bear is doing a scary amount of damage. A shop or gold? Let's go with the gold. Lollipop. Yeah, we're all over this. Yeah, it's all about the teddy bear right now, for sure. And I don't know how long we're going to really rock uh, a no-weapon build here, but... It's definitely what hits the best for us, for right now. I suppose I can kind of switch off. Poison is nice. Throw back on the fists. And then just go fisticuffs with it. Guaranteed rare item. Yeah, we'll do it. Alright, let's get some poison stacks on the Mole King here and see if we can get in close with the fists. Alright, the poison has been all stacked up on him. See if we can take out these robots here too. I mean, I think the teddy bear is, is doing a scary amount of damage actually. Yeah, the teddy bear is just melting enemies right now. Very cool, very fun. By the way, where is my morality or alignment, I should say, at? Just neutral across the board. All right. So we'll figure out what, what we should do. Let's see. Mana orb. Okay. We have the watcher orb. Puppeteer gloves. 20% increased companion damage. Okay. I mean, that's... I, I like the mana orb, right? The mana orb is nice. But I'm going with the puppeteer set. It just makes sense. Got a goofy build going on so far. Let's take this the evil route. Why not? A focus sash. So we could get... Can't quite get two of these. So what is the best one? Focus sash would be the best one. All right, let's rock and roll Cursed Lollipop here. All right, Teddy Bear, go do it. We've got the Puppeteer gloves on now. You should be hitting for even stronger. X marks the spot right here. It's subtle, but... Golden Cross Pendant. Protects you from getting cursed and instead once per room grants 1 to 10 gold. I mean, we'll grab it. Permanent Cursed Blessing or a candy. Let's go with the candy. Although I do like me some permanence for sure. Magic Weapon. We do have a key. Let's do this over the armory even. Is 
Centurion is having some programming issues here. And he goes down. Let's see, what do we have in the chest here? We have the tortoise-like arc staff. Arc staff is a very good weapon. Maybe we can get it fixed up. Maybe it won't even be worth it. Finding a whole lot of trash here, though, for sure. I'll keep the focus sash on. Uh, Monoceptor. 30% reduced attack speed. Yikes. Yeah, we're selling the Monoceptor. It's pretty bad. Elven Cloak. I don't like the idea of going with the three set set bonus. I just don't like it. We'll focus on the, the Puppeteer Gloves here. Or the Puppeteer Set, I should say. See if we can't fix up this Arc Staff. Booze or a Tavern. Let's go into the Tavern. Here's the Luck Potion. Yeah, we're all over this. Thanks, buddy. All right. Should we get the child <laughs> some beers? Should we order some beers for the child? I don't think this guy's going to fork over the purging stone. Nope, he will not. Uh, yeah, we get some beers. I mean, obviously, the uh, tavern is not carding because I think we're pretty clearly a child with a teddy bear. But <laughs> that's okay. There is some humor. Uh, what else do we need? Do we need anything else here? Not really. Let's go with the gold. You ever tried punching an alligator, folks? Not recommended. Uh, golden chest, that's a mimic. Yeah, we're taking this. Took a hit there, and there goes a the soul heart. That's obviously not good. But it's a mimic room. It's like a mini boss fight. All right, what do we have? It looks like we have some stuff in the wall here. The Billful Michelangelo. <laughs> okay. And the Sapphire Wand. Okay, so we did bag a legendary. Got a whole bunch of bombs and a bunch of just god-awful stuff. I've never used this bow before. And boy, am I excited. So what does it do? So it's got necrotic damage on top of fire, cold, lightning, and poison damage. Very lovely stuff. All right, we will take that. So let's survive long enough to get some survivability and get this run off the ground. I mean, we're looking good. Does it have a homing attack is the question, of course. Feels like it's... Yeah, it's got some homing to it. I do love me some homing weapons for sure. It's nothing quite like a bow that just simply shoots straight and that's all it does, right? Not very effective, in my opinion. And we have the troll here that is, of course, an angry fellow. Just loves to throw logs and kind of whatever else is in the area at you. Out of pure anger. Alright, the Michelangelo bow. It does scale with, with intelligence, so we can take it. Increased magic, fine. We have ectoplasm mask. And then we have the Friendship Charm, plus one max companion capacity. That is absolutely what we go for. We are kind of in on companions here. Except for, that's not good. But what if I were to... I mean, we can summon two teddy bears now, although we do lose. However, it's not giving us anything because we're doing weapon damage, right? But let's see what just one does. Yeah, so one is probably more effective than two. However, who knows what the rest of the run will hold. Meat Shank is what it's going to hold immediately. And you love to see it. We need it. Equip load capacity is what I'm thinking here. And obviously it's a plus three. It's a plus three food item. You got to go with it. All right, we have the prop knife there. It'll sell. Consumables or rare weapons. Uh, consumables, what's that going to get us? Let's go with the rare weapons. Ruby wand, zephyr, and happy pulse pistols. Okay. Yeah, we'll go with the pulse pistols as our secondary. Why not? Intelligence behind a locked door here. Let's go with the bottle of booze. Do 
doing all kinds of elemental damage here, so maybe we can get something that can complement that. We're obviously in the uh, in the market for a quiver as well. Damage over time. I mean, that does work with our bow here. God awful bubble wand. We'll see you later. So that three tipsiness. All right, let's go with the candy. All right, level up. What do we have? More psychic traits? Mind control, spontaneous combustion, and beef. <laughs> spontaneous combustion, unlucky hit trigger, a fiery burst. We have a 10% lucky hit chance. Mind control, effect that doubles the effect of debuffs on the target in last 8 seconds. Let's go with it. Event room. Open the coffin. Sure thing. Wooden cross pendant. That's just your most basic of basic items. We're good. Let's go with the key. Michael Angebo. <laughs> That's kind of a tongue twister, I'm not going to lie. Alright, so we have the blacksmith where we could get an upgrade on our fine bow here, or we have two bombs. I mean, one upgrade, right? Let's re-roll this. Let's grab the beef. Mage stash for magic weapon or candy for intelligence. Go with the candy. I think we're kind of squared away in our weapon, at least for now. We got to get our DPS up, though, that's for sure. A guaranteed helmet. Yeah, we'll go with the helmet. All right, we have the Gargoyle Brothers here. Been a while since I've faced these guys. And we have the Possessed Weapons again. Which can kind of cause some problems. They're just armored, right? So they're not the easiest to kill quickly. Especially at our current DPS output. Give me those souls there, Gargoyle Bro. Alright, we'll see you later. Nice knowing ya. Back into statue form, you go. Alright, we have four selections here. And what do we have? Is this the puppeteer's hat? Nope, it's not. Non-triggered lucky hit summon exploding dove. That's funny. Sea urchin orb. Sea urchin orbital. We're using two-handed weapons. Breaker gauntlet. Plus one armor. Melee attacks inflict armor break. Then we have the ice crown. I mean, the plus one armor of these gloves is nice. Melee attacks. We're, of course, not doing melee attacks. Um... So I'm looking at a reroll or... Yeah, let's go with the gloves. Or wait, no, cancel that. Totally cancel that. Let's reroll it. We already had gloves. Should have known that. But what can you do? It's been a long day here, folks. Alright, we do have a quiver here. So this is nice. Angelic hood. Armored quiver. So plus one armor. That's pretty nice. Pharaoh mask. Cerebro. Let's go with the quiver, plus one armor. We get the desired outcome. And we're taking this all the way to uh, the burning hells, and we need minus four morality. Minus three is not an option. I'm always, like, just a little shocked by the sheer amount of outputs that those scorpions give for... Their little shots there. A dexterity or a consumable. I mean, we could get cheese with the consumable. We could get a phoenix feather. We could get... Repair powder. Let's go with it. Not this time. Alright, we get a whetstone. That's nice. We'll use that outright. 
get zinc. Very good. And repair powder. Very nice. Bombs or lolly. Yeah, we'll be taking the lolly all day. The question is, what's the flavor of the lollipop? Let's go with the shrine. And here comes the centurion again. And I feel like we've been seeing you a lot lately, bud. Although, get melted by status effects. Meaty boys again. Lucky us, we get a room with the Centurion and the Meaty Boys. How about that? Orbital speed, we have stamina recovery speed and aura radius. Let's go with stamina recovery speed. Hard to go wrong there. Alright, another level up here. More psychic traits, hopefully. Ancestral Aid, Blessed Hammer, Mama Stuff. Grants three kitchen knife orbitals that deal thrusting damage and inflict bleed. That's very, very funny. Or maybe not that uh, you liken Mama to knives. Okay. Yeah, we're all in on this. I like this. A blacksmith to upgrade again. What are we rocking? Plus two? Let's get it plus three. Whoops. All right, thanks, bud. Let's go with the dice. Let's see, what are you hitting for? Yeah, Teddy Bear is hitting for some serious damage. That's for sure. Uh, Mage Stash, I mean, we could. I'm gonna grab the gold, though. I'm not wild about using my, my key. And we've already got a legendary weapon. Got it nice and early, so kind of like, what am I going to get? Just some rare weapon that I'm not going to use and don't have room for? Emblem of Bahamut. Um, I mean, can we shift this to the high heavens? Is it too late in the run to do so? Because this is obviously a very good accessory. I'll see if there's an opportunity. We're going to need some souls to pull it off, though. Let's go with the boots. And we have the Pharaoh here. This is a guy that likes to throw gold and other junk at you. Can't look away for one second, or, or you're going to take a hit, most likely. Let's keep stacking souls, absolutely. And maybe if we can shift this to a heaven run instead, then that's kind of what, what I'm thinking now. Especially since we got the emblem of Bahamut. Alright, Galewind Steps. 10% increased movement speed. It is a set item, I don't like that. Wolf Pelt Hood. Per aura you have. Traffic Cone, plus one evade. Imp Charm. I mean, you could certainly do worse than plus one evade, right? Now we have the traffic cone on our head. So when we escaped the, the hospital, right, where they were doing experiments on us, we picked up a traffic cone on the way, and, you know, the story is writing itself here. So Jade Charm, plus three dex. So we could actually get... I could spend... Let's see, that's 27. Yeah, we'd have enough to get them all. Let's do it. That's plus three good in that one room right there. So we've turned this around in a big way. Now we have 20% increased damage. It's just the right thing to do. Floor six, the reef. Let's go. This is a floor that historically has given me some problems. Although, I usually don't have... Such a reliable weapon, right? Like, we're lacking the, the top end damage right now. We're gonna get there the more we increase our alignment, right? But it is a dependable weapon that it's got great range, good attack speed, it, it homes in, 
the status afflictions, all good things to like. Soul heart, yeah. Take that for free, absolutely. Rare weapons or alchemy stash. We actually don't have any of the alchemy buffs on right now, so let's go with the alchemy stash. Maybe we can get a luck potion out of this. Maybe not, maybe so. And yes, we do. That's lovely. All right, let's find a pawn shop, huh? What do you say? Random potion or dexterity. We'll take the dex. Does scale with our weapon. It's hard to, of course, predict the future, but I can see us rocking this bow for as far as it'll take us, right? Pawn shop. For a heart. Yeah, we need to. All right. Quick prop knife. See ya. Poison sickles. You kind of had your moment for just a bit. Focus sash. See ya. Pulse pistols. See ya as well. What do we got? Orbital speed plus three strength. Dex. Okay, looking good. We have the tavern here. Other opportunities to increase our alignment can be found here. Um, nothing's showing up right now. Can maybe use a little bit of a heal from the nurse, but why don't we go ahead and re-roll this. With the mead. Just another questionable character that will sell a kid booze. I'm looking for Green Blossom. Or Purging Stone Guy. Okay, here's Purging Stone Guy. This is good. Do we need another one, actually? That's the question. No, we do not. Okay, good. So that also buffs up our damage, of course. Alright, what do we have? We have two of three stacks, so... Let's buy some more beer for the child, of course. And yeah, let's refill our flasks. Looking good. And then let's get the gold that we pretty much just spent here. Random dice. How are we looking on dice? Pretty balanced across the board. But let's do it. Really hard for me to turn down dice on floor six here. Midi boys, what's up, midi boys? Yep, yeah, so we got some knives orbiting. Just be careful. Your fleshy bodies probably won't handle the, the knife very well. All right, guaranteed helmet or set item. Do we go for the puppeteer hat? I think we can find that at another time. All right, I guess we're going for it. Neptune, what's up, Neptune? Get melted, bro. All right, his first form is down. All right, down goes Neptune. See you later. Back into the waves you go, Neptune. Except for you're missing some pieces, it looks like. All right, puppeteer hats. Do we get it? We get the meteor helmet. Marksman cape. Plus 15% chance for range attacks to repeat. Got the Santa Claus hat. We got the meteor helmet. Plus one armor. Plus one mana as well. Of course, this is a mana draining weapon. Fletching Quiver. 10% increased bow and crossbow attack speed and the Ballistic Flurry. So that is going to be a hat. We're going to lose armor. I don't like that. However, the Meteor set wouldn't be bad. I'm going with the Meteor helmet. I don't like sacking my evade here, but we do get an armor back.
two keys or a big soul. I'm going to go with the big soul here, actually. And we took a hit there. Not great. Let's go with the beef. That equip load capacity. Alchemy or random potions. We don't have any keys to unlock it, so let's just go ahead and re-roll this. Not keen on sacking strength for intelligence, so let's go with the gold. Just stepped into something there. That's not ideal. That's alright. What do we have here? The Shocking Spore Flail. Okay, let's use the Repair Powder. That's what it's there for. Plus one Intelligence. Yes, you bet. Got a little bit of a Black Hole Event Horizon going on in this room here. And another level up. Let's see if we get a Psychic Trait that we can use. Mind Over Matter. Gain Strength equal to half your Intelligence. Um, yeah. Be cool if our weapon scaled with strength. It does not. But our equip load capacity will get a nice big boost from that. We have a few things to sell in the pawn shop. Otherwise, it's just gold. I guess it's gold either way. Event room, you bet. All right, what do we have here? It's like we have penguin friends. We're gonna go with the. Uh, seems eager for for a fight. Challenge this penguin to a dance battle. Okay. All right, let's do it. Up, down, up, up, down, up. Boom. Left, down, left, 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 down, left, left. Right, up, left, left, left. Right, up. Left, left, left. All right, we win. We are the winners. That's right. Face a worthy challenger. Hands you a gift. And what do we have here, penguin friend? Grants plus one to weapon intelligence scaling. Okay. I mean, that's actually pretty darn good. I just want to see what it does. So... Yeah, the emblem of Bahamut... Makes us do a lot more damage, obviously. Okay, souls. Or a blacksmith. We're maxed out here. Unless we get the master blacksmith, which is obviously a possibility there, but... I'll take the souls, because we need them. More candy. We'll certainly want to stock up on some repair powder when possible. Guaranteed body armor. Yeah, we're all over this. And we have the ice dragon here. What's up, ice dragon? Let's see how you like a bunch of status afflictions and the like. Hint, he doesn't like them. See you later, Ice Dragon. In fact, it was uh, it was a fine little amount of time with you. All right, what do we have? We have an epic. Okay, Crimson Cloak. Unlucky hit, inflict fragility. Boxing shorts. Shout out to Punch Out, right? And we have the Snowbird Charm. Plus one to cold weapon upgrade. I mean, is this... It does cold damage. I guess we'll find out. Let's find out. It sure does. Love to see that, folks. Let's take out the friendship charm for now. Definitely not selling it, but let's take it off for now. Let's go to the good shop. And what do we have? Block charm. That's probably one to grab for sure. Angel boots. This is up to 100%. So you kind of want to spend some souls here for sure. Sure. 
Let's grab the block charm. I believe we're sitting at four now. Yep. So we could make another purchase here. Don't really need to, though. I want to get some survivability increased at the campfire. So I do like the orb charm. 25 string. So why don't we take off the strength charm here. Still have plenty of equip load capacity. Let's throw back. Let's throw the orb charm back on. The orb charm back on. Excuse me. All right, Halls of Agony. Let's just keep on rocking and rolling here. See you later, Centurion. All right, I, uh, dice or bombs? Wait. You gotta go with the dice. You can't take the bombs over the dice. But you watch. This is where the secret room is going to be. When you don't have the bombs. That's when it always shows up. Meaty boys just always coming in. Alright. We lucked out there. Our weapon does scale with decks, so... Definitely need some decks. Do you remember in the intro when I said I was looking forward to using a magic-based character? Well, this is going swimmingly, isn't it? And look at all these charms. I just don't think I'm going to be using the Garnet charm. I just don't see it. Let's go with the Obsidian chest. And we have more mimics here. Let's maybe we'll get lucky again. Just maybe. All right, we do get the puppeteer mask here. Twenty-five percent increased stats granted by companions. And then your percent modifiers to companion damage also affect you. Butcher apron each point of strength additionally grants five percent increased bleed damage. So that's useless to us. We're not doing bleed damage. Crystal flail plus three. I mean, I think we, we throw it on, right? But we're not doing bleed damage. Maybe there's a way to do bleed damage. All right, so let's check this out. 43.65. So am I hitting for more with this on is my question. Oh, yeah, I'm hitting for an insane amount more. Holy crap. Look at this damage here, folks. Unbelievable. Okay, well, we will take it somehow like this all just kind of synergized together. So let's let's see what we're doing now. We're just melting things, literally. Doesn't matter how tanky you are now, you will be melted. All right, blacksmith. We could get the master blacksmith. Nope, no master blacksmith here. But we do get some bombs. That's nice. And we have our teddy bear literally just on a rampage here. I'll go with the candy. Alright, let's get something good. What do you say, game? Lapis bracelet. It'll sell. Guaranteed helmet or guaranteed boots. We are devoid of boots. And our puppeteer set is obviously staying on. Really, really hard to take that off. It only increases my damage by like, what, times five? Times four, times five. Cerberus, just back to guarding the river of sticks. Okay. Leave me alone. I'm just passing through. All right. We got the Roots Boots. King's Crown. Not in the market for a helmet. 
Not at all. It's got a big reroll all over this. Give me something better, game. Let's go. How about some legendary boots? Alright. Scarab Grease. Plus one armor. Not bad. Actually works with our kit pretty well. Cult Mark. Can't take off our helmet. Secret Gloves. Let's go with the Scarab Greaves. Not bad. I mean, we're a, we're a heavily armored psychic child. With a bow and a puppeteer mask. Kind of a goofy build so far, but we're having fun and that's what it's all about, right? Alright, the Deep Dark. I do want to gain a favor here. And I don't want to be caught without survivability, so let's add a heart. Obviously, uh... Mana Star would have been beneficial to us there as well. Maybe we can stumble across a Mana Star or get a piece of armor that gives us mana. Papa stuff grants two assault rifle companions. So I think we're learning a little bit more about her uh, upbringing and her parents, right? Um, however, we need exactly one companion. So I can't go with this. Because if I do, then we lose our buffs, I'm pretty sure. Either that or it's really, really strong. Right? Let me see. Well, you have exactly one companion. That companion deals 300% more damage and grants... Yeah. We need exactly one. Elemental balance. Uh, works really, really, really well with our bow, doesn't it? Legendary weapons. Uh, yes. All right. Unreal Infernal Orb 1. I've used this before. It's a very interesting weapon. To say the least. We have the Twinkling Truth and Justice. So this is... Set of dual guns here. Very cool. Plus one weapon upgrade level. Alternates between dealing radiant and dark. We have the Billful VBFG, of course. This is one of my favorite weapons. Just insanely strong. And the Calamites. I mean, part of me kind of wants to take the, the truth and justice here. I think the obvious choice is the VBFG. I mean, 20,666 damage. And then triple damage. It's so strong. Not interested in the, the bows. Could also make the case for the Infernal Orb Wand. With the increased attack speed. It does burn damage. I think I'm going to go with the, the Truth and Justice here. And we can certainly just try it out. Meaty boys, how do you like the, the truth and justice, huh? I think obviously the bow is just a little bit better, especially with the elemental balance we have. And here's that twinkling branch. So this is twinkling. This is billful. Do I dare reroll this? Do I dare do it? I'm gonna do it. Merciless. Plus 75 critical hit damage. Lovely. Flask refill or consumables. Let's go with the consumables. This is floor 9, so we will be getting a tavern here. Let's make sure we have the cash. Although it's nice to see some repair powder, I must, must admit. Got a blood chest. Let's see anything to kind of offload here. Let's do that. All right, blood chest. Yep.
protein. You got two stacks of protein. Take your protein pills and put your helmet on, Major Tom. Big soul or random booze? Let's go with the big soul for sure. Like I said, there is a tavern on this floor, guaranteed, so we'll be sitting fine with that. Yeah, you got me, Centurion. I was in a really rough spot there. Okay, here's the tavern. Green Blossom. And we're up to 80%. Yeah, so we'll be taking this for sure. Thanks, Dryad. Get a little refill, you bet. Let's just use it. And then our tipsiness needs a little bit of a top up here. So 25% increased damage over time. So we'll take a beer and the child wants some wine as well. So we'll get the child some wine. And let's go ahead and re-roll this. I'm pretty committed here. If we can get the repair powder guy, I think that's going to be useful to us. So let's try it again. Purging stone guy. Are we cursed at all? We are not. And we're maxing out our emblem of Tiamat, so we're good. We have the bomb guy here. Might as well buy a couple of bombs from him. Okay, re-roll it again. Let's do better. Repair powder guy, where you at? There you are. Good to see ya, good to see ya. I mean, for five gold, it's, it's kind of like, why not? Meteor helmet, it was fun while it lasted, wasn't it? But let's load up on repair powder, because we'll probably need it. In fact, we could even go with one more. suppose I can always throw it down if we don't need it, but let's do that. Blood chest. 12,000 damage on the critical hit there. Just a mighty, mighty hit. Armor charm. Uh, yeah, that goes really good with our kit, doesn't it? So 8616, if I throw this down, 8616. So we do lose a little bit of damage. Let's throw down the, the orbital. I think that's fine. Uh, to the shop. Don't really have anything to... Any cash to spend, really. Yep, I knew I was going to get caught there. My goodness. Sometimes you just get trapped in this game. Just like, like that, right? That's probably how the meaty boys get you the most often, is when they spawn in. So here we are, we've taken two hits. Ranged weapon or guaranteed offhand. I mean, there's a potential that we get a better quiver, I suppose. But I kind of like the quiver that we have. Our body armor leaves a lot to be desired. Because we are not doing bleed damage at all. So let's go, let's use a powder. And let's go. We have the Mind Flamer. Let's see how he likes it. Wait, we are doing bleed damage. Yeah, that, that's that's bleed. All right. It doesn't say... Each point of strength grants 5% increased bleed damage. It doesn't say it causes bleed damage. But I guess we're doing bleed damage here, folks. So we'll take it. All right, what do we have? We have the mana cloak, plus two mana. I think I kind of have to go with that, to be honest. Dark moon hood, leprechaun, leprechaun frock, excuse me. Uh, yeah, let's go with the mana cloak. And let's assess our damage output here. 8858. This will be 11.029. Yeah, we're going with this. Just, you know... Uh, Nice little 2,000 point increase in damage. No big deal or nothing. 
course. All right, let's go. Feeling good now. Plus one dex for minus one strength. Nope, not. Whoop, I just missed the secret floor. M moving too fast. Saw it right as I was walking through the door. Not good, but what can you do, folks? Well, you can slow down and pay more attention, I suppose. That's one option. Meaty poise, man. Always just coming in like a bull in a china shop. Causing all kinds of like noise and chaos and red little rings on the on the screen. All kinds of stuff. Alright, plus one intelligence. Yeah, we'll, we'll take it. Kind of getting to the point where a key just isn't really useful to us. Got the bear taking out the spinny laser guy. Very nice bear. Way to go. Apocalypse, blessed hammer, and shock aura. Okay. I mean, shock's a little interesting. Apocalypse, Monastar, look at that damage, my goodness. Let's go ahead and roll this. We have Dreamer, okay, so this is definitely something that we want here. If you have drained mana in the past four seconds, each point of mana additionally grants 18.75% more companion damage. You stack that with... with our Puppeteer set, right? And you get, I mean... It's pretty much the same as Dreamer here. Each point of mana additionally grants... Yeah. So Dreamer is the right choice, but... That was also a pretty good one to get, right? So what are we looking at? Mind control... Doubles the effect of debuffs. That's pretty good. Mama stuff. I'm not too crazy about that one. So I think if there's a candidate to re-roll, we can get rid of the spinning knives. I don't really know what they're doing for us. And it looks like you got me there. Don't have a key, so it's not an option anyways. Shrine for a permanent blessing, yes. Be taking this all day. Alright, what do we have? Plus one, good. We have 10 equip load capacity and stamina recovery speed. Let's go with that. Potion. Yeah, let's go with the potion. Stamina potion. We'll take it. A gold chest or some just gold. Let's re-roll this. Petrified armor. Uh, yeah, we're all over this. It's crazy how much armor we're getting in this particular run. I mean, we're an intelligence-based character here, folks, with... Four armor. All right, guaranteed gloves. That's not an option. Offhand. How about random companion? I'm going to go with the gloves. Maybe we get... I mean, I kind of like our build the way it currently is. I mean, we got to stick with the teddy bear. Of course we do. Let's go with the gloves. Maybe we get another item. And then, of course, we can always re-roll it with our million gold dice. Alright, death. So this is the matchup that always needed to happen. This poor child has been running from death her entire life. So it's just the, the challenge that, that makes sense, of course. Looks like death has some new uh, little cronies there. 
Not a problem for us. Very good. Very, very good. Okay, epic. So those are the Berserker gauntlets. On kill game Berserk. Hand of Blood. You percent modifiers to attack speed. Also apply to bleed tick speed. That's cool. Wedding dress. Let's roll it. Set and gloves. Straw talisman. 50% increased effect of debuffs. Yeah, we only have a secondary because it's quiver. Let's roll it. Like I said, I'm pretty satisfied with our overall build here. It just kind of came together well. It's a little goofy, but you know, that's the fun of tiny rogues. Spellbinder gloves. Anti-gravity boots. And then the diamond armor plus three armor. And we could throw that on. Let's go with it. Maybe throw it on before the final fight or something. Plus three armor is pretty crazy, though. I mean, why wouldn't it be plus three armor? Been getting a lot of armor. <laughs> a lot of armor in this run here, for sure. High heavens, yes. To the high heavens we go. All right, so you do have the opportunity to get a good shop, which... So I think I'm going to save my souls, I think is, is what I'm trying to say here. We're all looking to save our souls here, folks. And a whole bunch of meaty boys on the field... Even heaven cannot keep them up. Cursed bombs or plus 10% increased damage. Yeah, we're not picking up a curse. You get crazy. Centurion as well. Critical hit chance, or just more intelligence. Let's go with the more intelligence. I'm really torn between the diamond armor and the current armor that we have on, right? I'm just torn between it. It's hard to say which is the right one to use. I mean, we do lose a lot of damage in taking off our current armor. We just do. And we're going to need some damage output, obviously, for Eden, right? Increase attack speed. Yeah, I want to get the attack speed high here. But plus three armor makes us, you know, pretty darn indestructible as well. I guess if it ain't broken, don't fix it, right? Plus one boss reward. 25% to ruthless hit, top and damage. Plus one weapon intelligence scaling. Uh, yes. So S plus now. 23,000 fire damage. <laughs> My goodness, 36,000 lightning damage. Poison damage as well. Wow, has this run been generous? So I'm I'm curious. So if I take this off. Yeah, we lose like 10,000, 11,000 damage. So we just can't do it here, folks. But what we can do, of course, is let's get rid of these knives. So the knives are what's affecting the bleed. Or inflicting the bleed, I should say. I think we can get rid of them. Um... Let's get rid of it. Barbarism. So each point of strength, critical hit multiplier. Uh, yeah, that seems pretty darn strong. We can rock that for a while, see how it goes. A body armor or guaranteed magic weapon. 
These are the selections before us. Let's go with the guaranteed magic weapon. What's up, Bahamut? Let's see how you like a bunch of damage. Uh, you didn't get me, man. Get out of here with that. Okay. I think, if I'm being honest, I probably should have taken a hit there, but I mean, we'll, we'll certainly take it. All right, Bahamut, what's up? Yep, talk your smack, and let's get back at it. Mana Flux, let's go. Just pulsing into you. Alright, Mana Flux, let's go. Well, he's shooting his breath attack at us. Alright, you got us one time there, Bahamut. I'll give it to you. You know, I was busy dodging meteorites and tons of other stardust and all this other good stuff. Bahamut goes down, but does compromise our armor. Luckily, we have the repair powder, of course. Alright. So three selections here, and one of them is a legendary. This is going to be the Volcanic Codex, okay? I mean, we obviously take this, right? We'll certainly be playing around with this. Yeah, we're definitely going to play around with this. Not a question in my mind about that. All right, do you hear that, folks? We are worthy. Floor 12, here we go. The final fight. So I'm going to go with the Monastar here. To do even more top-end damage. All right, set item stash or Ambrosia. I'm going to go with the Ambrosia. Let's use the powder. And let's go. Let's play around with our new toy here. Okay, so, really, uh, really fun weapon to use. It's a little different. It's, you kind of got to set it and then get out of the way. Well, not get out of the way, but you set it and then you can kind of focus on dodging a little more. I kind of like it. Potion or a soul heart. Uh, we could certainly use a potion buff. Let's use a potion buff. Power potion. Yeah, that's a good potion buff to have on. Lucky hit or ambrosia. We're just going to max out our intelligence here. Let our little volcanoes do the talking. 10% increased companion damage. How about this, teddy bear? I got you a croissant. Uh, I was at the grocery store today, hooked you up with a croissant. I hope you like it. Right, we have the Twilight Branch. We have the Carrot on a Stick. Puzzle Ring. Plus one luck. 21 souls, though. A little too rich for our blood. It's alright. Getting luck here at floor 12 isn't the most ideal. So let's just move on. Could also have him re-roll this. Yeah, why not? Divine... Misfits Sword. Pixie Dust. Snake Basket. Holy Water. Grants Holy Water on Consumption. Sure. Very low risk. 10% trigger damage. Let's go with that. Meaty Boys, I tell you something. Just... It's always the meaty boys, man. Just get out of here. All right, one final rest. All right, let's do a full recovery. Get our flasks back. 
Uh, let's see. Okay, so what are we rocking with here? I mean, the diamond armor isn't isn't a choice, right? It just isn't. 40,000, 35,000. We take that off, and it goes down to 25,000, right? With this on, it's just, it's too strong, really, to. Forty thousand. I mean, we just need to. We just have to be. I mean, we're we're looking really survivable, right? We throw this on and get it attuned. Let me just take a quick peek here. Certainly, a lot of survivability, but just we lose a lot of damage. So yeah, we're gonna go with this. We're just gonna do it. And we're just going to be good. So let's go. Let's rock and roll. The final fight begins now. What's up, Eden? It's been a while. The Volcanic Codex is just so strong. Yeah, the Volcanic Codex just absolutely eroded Eden there. And it wasn't even a <laughs> wasn't even a long battle. Usually you get into a pretty long and heated fight with Eden, but I guess when your character is this strong. And what a goofy build this was here, folks, I must admit. So let's do a quick little assessment. When you're this strong, it just doesn't really matter. 40 intelligence, 30 strength, 11 dex, pure good. Even though we started off on the evil path here. Mental empowerment, mind control, barbarism. It's a nice little add-on at the end there with that critical hit damage increase. Given our critical hit chance there at 47.5%. Mind over matter. That was a big one. I feel like our run kind of changed when we got that. Elemental balance for our bow. And then, of course, dreamer. A very effective intelligence-based skill. Looking good. Hitting heavy. We did this all with uh, just two stamina. Really, really high on the armor, of course, right? And switching between a bow and a volcanic codex. So very good, very fun run. It's good to uh, it's good to have a uh, yet another victory under the belt, right? You don't always, uh... <laughs> well, I had, I had kind of a rough patch there, I guess you could say. A bit of a rough patch where we had a few losses back-to-back, -back, right? And it's easy to kind of get your spirits down, folks, but... Tiny Rogues, man. I love this game. This game's legit. And if you're just watching the content, folks, and, you know, maybe you haven't tried out Tiny Rogues yet, maybe you've just kind of saw some YouTube videos on it, or just follow the game in some fashion, but you don't play it, just get it. It's a great game. They're coming out with a new update into the Abyss. It's going to add, uh, basically, when we chose to go to Heaven there, right? I believe there will be an option to go to the Abyss. And what that means, I don't really know. But really looking forward to that update as well. My guess is new characters, new content, just all of that awesome stuff. This game's unique. This game's super fun. And... I just really appreciate the overall creativity of this game and how this game also kind of borrows things from other games as well. Dropping all kinds of references and it's really cool. So that was the Esper run there, folks. I went in thinking, okay, we're going pure magic, right? We're going to rock a magic weapon. And we're just going to rock and roll with it. Well, I guess you could make the case that the Michelangelo bow is a magic weapon. It is. It drains mana and it does elemental damage. It scales with intelligence, but it's not your conventional magic weapon like a book or staff of some sort. By the way, fun run. The teddy bear, man. The teddy bear. Super, super MVP there. Got a lot of respect for the teddy. And it was really cool to kind of see some of our companion traits work to make our character just overall that much stronger. 
So with that said, folks, I am getting on out of here. I do want to thank you so much for your viewership. I really do appreciate it. If you enjoyed the run, I've got plenty of other Tiny Rogues runs here on the channel. Just check them out. They're on a nice, neat little playlist. Check them out at your leisure. And if you like the content, please consider becoming a subscriber. It really does help a small channel like mine grow. We just recently passed the uh, 500 subscriber mark, which is awesome. Working towards 600 now. So if you want to be a part of that community, we'd love to have you. Leave a comment. Let me know how I did. Uh, let me know how you liked the Esper run. And yeah, above all, I appreciate you. So thank you so much, folks. I'm getting out of here. Take care, and we'll catch you in the next video. Thanks a lot. Bye.